We will be discussing about certain details about the superperiosteral technique. This is more commonly called the local infiltration, but it is incorrectly. It is the most commonly frequently used technique for obtaining pulpal anesthesia in a maxillary teeth. Although it is simple procedure with a high success rate, there are several valid reasons for using other techniques whenever more than two or three are involved in treatment. The superperiosteral injection is indicated whenever dental procedures are confined to a relatively circumscribed area in the maxillary or mandibular incisor region. For the nerves anesthetized for this technique is the terminal large branches of the dental plexus. The areas anesthetized includes the pulp, the root area of the tooth, buccal periosteum, connective tissue, mucous membrane. For the indication of this technique, pulpal anesthesia of the maxillary teeth when treatment is limited to one or two teeth. Soft tissue anesthesia when indicated for surgical procedures in a circumscribed area. For, a contra for the contraindications, infection or acute inflammation in the area of infection. Next is the dense bone covering the apices of the teeth. For the advent advantages, there is high success rate, technically easy injection, and usually entirely, entirely automatic. And for the disadvantages, not recommended for large areas because of the need of multiple injections. And then lastly, the necessary, necessarily to administer a larger volume of local anesthetic. Hello, we will be about to demonstrate to you one technique for anesthetic. It's called the imperial superperiosteal technique. First, we'll be uh, introducing to you the basic Required armamentarium for this technique. First, we need is the basic instrument the mouth mirror, the explorer, and the cotton plier. And then two swabs for application of the topical anesthetic and antiseptic. Then we need the sterile cotton gauze, and then an extra cartridge for excess use, and then a short and long needle for other techniques if needed. And then our syringe. Also, alcohol and cotton cotton and uh, uh, dispenser. Okay. So, we are about to demonstrate to you the proper positioning of the patient and the dentist itself. So, uh, for me, I am at the 8 o'clock position because it is an appropriate position for the technique we are about to demonstrate, which is the superperiostral. And as you can see, the patient is, a set, is in a supine position. So we'll be showing you about the area of insertion, the target area, and the landmarks of the superperiosteal technique. First is the area of insertion is the height of the mucobuccal fold above the apex of the tooth, which here in 1-3 we showed here that this is the height, and this would be the area of insertion of the needle. And the target area is within, which is the apical region of the tooth, to be anesthetized. So the landmarks is the mucobuccal fold, this one, and also the crown of the root so that it would show as a guideline and the root contour of the tooth which is here which would show you the, how it would be inserted in a proper position. So first, we are about to prepare the tissue at the site of injection. So first is we clean with a sterile dry gauze. We have to dry this part so then the topical solutions would be absorbed rapidly. We use a cotton swab to, apl to apply the topical antiseptic at the part to be injected. So we wait for a few seconds for the antiseptic to be absorbed. We do not want to let the area to get wet again. For the next topical, is we are about to apply the anesthetic. Then we wait for one minute. So we orient the needle so the bevel faces the bone. 
As you can see, there is a black marker which indicates where the bevel is located for easier indication. We place this and then we orient this needle which fades the bone here. So we lift the lip, pulling the tissue taut. Hold the syringe parallel to the long axis of the tooth. We insert this 27 gauge short needle into the height of the mucobuckle fold over the target of the target tooth. We advance the needle until the bevel is at, uh, is at or above the apical region of the tooth. Then we aspirate and if it is negative, we deposit approximately 0.6 ml or one third of the cartridge slowly for over 20 seconds. We do it slowly so then the tissue won't be causing any balloon. And then we slowly withdraw the syringe and make the needle safe using a scoop technique. And then we wait for three to five minutes before starting the procedure.